Hello, everyone, and welcome to Storytime with the Ann Arbor District Library. My name's Christopher, and I'm so glad you could join me today. Now, you know how I like to begin Storytime with a little song called Clap Everybody and Say Hello. And it goes like this. Clap everybody and say hello, say hello, say hello. Clap everybody and say hello. Welcome to story time. Can we try that with the banjo? Let's give it a shot. Clap everybody and say hello, say hello, say hello. Clap everybody and say hello. Welcome to story time. You know, I like to say hello in lots of other languages. Let's say hello today in dog. Woof! Clap everybody and say woof, say woof, say woof. Clap everybody and say woof. Welcome to story time. Let's say hello today in cow. Ready? Clap everybody and say moo. <laughs> Let's try that one more time. Clap everybody and say moo, say moo, say moo. Clap everybody and say moo. Welcome to story time. Let's say hello today in what other barnyard animals do we know? Let's see, giraffe? <laughs> no, that's not a usual barnyard animal. Let's say to let's say hello in kitty. Meow. Clap everybody and say meow, say meow, say meow. Clap everybody and say meow. Welcome, come to story time. We're off to a rocky start. But let's see how we do. <laughs> okay, before we find out our theme today, I think we should get some blood pumping and some energy moving as if it wasn't hot enough today. And let's call O Duke of York. And here he is now. Oh, the grand old Duke of York, he had 10,000 men. He marched them up to the top of the hill, and he marched them down again. And when you're up, you're up. And when you're down, you're down. And when you're only halfway up, you're neither up or down. Do you have it? I think we can speed things up a little bit. Oh, the Grand Old Duke of York, he had 10,000 men. He marched them up to the top of the hill, and he marched them down again. And when you're up, you're up. And when you're down, you're down. And when you're only halfway up, you're neither up or down. The Grand Old Duke of York, he had 10,000 men. He marched them up to the top of the hill, and he marched them down again. And when you're up, you're up. And when you're down, you're down. And when you're only halfway up, you're neither up or down. The Grand Old Duke of York, he had 10,000 men. He marched them up to the top of the hill, and he marched them down again. And when you're up, you're up. And when you're down, you're down. And when you're only halfway up, you're neither up or down. Super fast! The Grand Old Duke of York, he had 10,000 men. He marched them up to the top of the hill, and when you're up, you're up or down. When you're only halfway up, you're neither up or down. <laughs> well, we got through it, and that's all I'll say about that. <laughs> but next time, we're going to go so fast, I'm sure I will lose you. Okay, let's find out what our stories are about today. Let's see. Uh, no, our, our stories, there we go. Our stories have something to do with a word that begins with F. Do you know any words that start with F? Well, there's uh, fettuccine. Fettuccine's delicious. That starts with F. I could go for a nice big bowl of fettuccine right now. And there's also fang tooth. Fang tooth is a cool kind of fish. And you know what that kind of fish has? Big teeth. And what else do we have? We've got fungus. Fungus starts with an F. 
But, you know, we don't have any stories today about fangtooth fish, fungus, or fettuccine. But we do have stories today all about the farm. And, you know, I grew up on the farm, so this story time is dear to my heart. And on my farm where I grew up, we had an enormous apple tree. And our first story today is called Apple Pie, written by Anne Wellington, pictures by Nina Souter. So I think you'll really enjoy it. <clears throat> I like to imagine this is the apple tree that we had at home. Now, once, I hope my apple's going to stay, once, there was a man with a giant apple tree, and he loved to make apple puffs, apple pastries, apple pie, all good things made of apples. And every day he would go out to the apple tree and he would pluck one beautifully ripe red apple off the tree and peel it and put it into a puff a pastry, a pie, something delicious, sometimes even an apple turnover. Well, this went on day after day after day, and the man was very happy and content at what his apple tree had produced for him. But there was one apple left in that tree. It was on the highest branch. And jump though he did, he couldn't reach it. It was just too high for him. So he thought, you know what? I'm going to get something to stand on. Certainly then I'll be able to reach it. So the man went into the kitchen and he got a stool and he stood on that stool. But you know what? He still couldn't reach. He jumped. He reached. It was too high. Well, his wonderful neighbor came along with a great suggestion. She said, you know what? You need to put this flower pot down on that stool, and then I'm sure you'll be able to reach it. Well, the man gave it a try. So he was balancing on the flower pot. The flower pot was balancing on the stool and he reached and he jumped. No luck. Well, next to come along was a rabbit. And the rabbit said, why don't you stand on my hutch? And so the hutch went on the flower pot, the flower pot went on the stool. The old the man could almost reach, but not quite. It was so close, but he couldn't get to it. So, you know, next to come along was Kitty. And Kitty came along and said, Hey, you need to stand on my basket. Because that's how kitties talk. And... The stool held up the flower pot. The flower pot held up the bas the hutch. The hutch held up the basket. Oh, he was so close. Just another half inch and he would have it. But he couldn't reach it. He was getting a little frustrated, as you could imagine. And Mouse came by, and Mouse said, I see the problem. You've got the stool, you've got the flower pot, the hutch, and the basket. I think we need to rearrange that. We need to put the stool on top. And the man said, no, 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 don't, don't do that. And the mouse said, yep, give me a hand. And so everyone said, no, no, mouse, don't do that. 
And Mouse said, yep, it's the best way to go. And Mouse started pulling the stool and pulling, and the stool came out, and everyone and everything came toppling down. And by everything, I also mean the apple as well, because everyone and everything falling shook the tree just enough for the apple to come down. And the old man thought, this apple is so big, I'll be able to feed everyone. And he did. The end. I hope you like that story. And now, I think we should, don't you think we should call someone? Who do we like to call right about now? Oh, Ralph! Ralph, are you around? Can you hear me? If you can hear me, say something. Oh, look who it is. <laughs> it's Ralph. Hey, listen, Ralph. You know, we usually jump and we swim and uh, dance. Yeah. How about today we mix it up a little bit? We could uh, bounce and uh, let's just see how we do, okay? All right, all right. Oh, bounce any way you want to. Bounce any way you please. Bounce any way you want to. But stop when I say freeze. <laughs> Nice bouncing, like we're on the moon. Oh, let's see what else should we do. Oh, jog. Oh, jog any way you want to. Jog any way you please. Jog any way you want to. But stop when I say freeze. You know, I think we should also go skiing. I could go for a nice ski slope right now yeah sound good okay oh ski any way you want to ski any way you please ski any way you want to but stop when i say freeze boy freezing sounds pretty good let's see do we have time for one more uh <laughs> do you have something to tell me yeah <laughs> okay Oh, well, I will admit, all that skiing and jogging and bouncing did kind of tire me out. <sighs> okay. Oh, sleep any way you want to. Sleep any way you please. Sleep any <laughs> Sleeping. Mm, stop when I say freeze. Mm. Whoa! <laughs> All that yelling woke us up. <laughs> okay, Ralph, I'll see you next time. Bye. <laughs> All right. We've got another wonderful story today. It's called Cock-a-Doodle Quack Quack. Hmm? And it's by Ivor Badiel and Sophie Job, illustrated by Ailey Busby. I think you're really going to enjoy it. Now, there was a young rooster just learning how things were done. And every morning the rooster would wake up and wonder, Shouldn't I be saying something? Hmm. And so the rooster went to the pig. And the rooster said, Shouldn't I be saying something in the morning? You know, you've been here a lot longer than I have, and maybe you know. And the pig thought, Well, I have heard a lot of people say, Oink, oink. Why don't you try adding that to what you might say? Well, the rooster thought, I'll give it a try. 
And so the next morning, bright and early, the rooster was up so proud to yell out, <coughs> oink, oink, and nothing happened. No one woke up. You can imagine the rooster was pretty disappointed. <coughs> oink, oink, didn't do a thing. Well, rooster went to talk to the cow who was lying down. And rooster said, cow, I know you've been around here a good long time. Isn't there something I should be saying in the morning? And cow said, well, I have heard a lot of creatures saying, moo, moo. Why don't you add that to what you feel like saying? And Rooster thought, eh, okay. And the next morning, proud as can be, Rooster thought he really had it this time, started out, <coughs> moo, moo. He thought maybe no one heard him, so he did it again. <coughs> moo, moo. Nothing. No one woke up. <coughs> Well, that's kind of frustrating. So Rooster went to see Duck and said, Is there something I should be saying? Nothing seems to be working when I try to wake everyone up in the morning. And Duck said, That's because you're not saying quack quack. Give it a try. Well, the next morning, Rooster thought, Finally. I know Duck wouldn't steer me wrong. And Rooster took in a big breath and said, er, 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 quack, quack. Well, that didn't sound right. Rooster tried it again. Er, 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 quack, quack. No, nope. nothing. Well, after all those tries, you know, Rooster was feeling kind of down, and Kitty was there. And Kitty said, you know what, Rooster? Something's bothering you, because I'm smart, and I can tell. <laughs> and Rooster was so upset, he didn't say anything. But Cat kept talking and said, you know what, Rooster? Go speak to Wise Owl in the barn. I'll bet he will be able to fix whatever is bothering you. Well, that's just what Rooster did. Rooster went into the barn and said, Owl, can you help me? And Owl said, Ah, who's there? And Rooster said, It's me, and I've got a problem. Because I don't know what to say in the morning to wake everyone up. And I will say, ah, here's an idea. Don't say anything and just listen. And Rooster said, ah, uh, that's weird. And I will say, yep, give it a try. Bye bye now. I got to go. And I will flew away. <laughs> that's a, an unusual turn of events for this story. Well, Rooster thought, I don't have anything to lose. So in the morning, that's just what he did. He was up so early, listening and straining his ears all morning. And he thought he heard some noises from the neighboring farm. So he tried to imitate them. That wasn't quite it. Try it again. Uh, 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 poo! Nope. That still didn't have any effect. No one was waking up. So he kept listening. He thought he got it right this time. Uh, 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 still not it. One more time. That did it, and everyone woke up on the farm and stirred, and the whole farm came to life. 
rooster was so happy to finally know how to cock-a-doodle-do. The end. <laughs> All right, we've got time for the pirate song. Are you ready? I am. Oh, when I was one, I sucked my thumb. On the day I went to sea, I jumped aboard a pirate ship, and the captain said to me, Oh, you'll go this way, that way, forwards, backwards, over the deep blue sea. When I was two, I tied my shoe on the day I went to sea. I jumped aboard a pirate ship and the captain said to me, Oh, you'll go this way, that way, forwards, backwards, over the deep blue sea. When I was three, I tapped my knee on the day I went to sea. I jumped aboard a pirate ship and the captain said to me, Oh, you'll go this way, that way, forwards, backwards, over the deep blue sea. Wiggle, wiggle fingers right up to the sky. Wiggle, wiggle fingers and wave them all goodbye. I'll see you next time.